recognize his real existence independent of the body he must see himself as invincible and impervious to harm hurt or death he must see himself as the great center of consciousness a sun around which his world revolves then will come to him a new strength he will feel a calm dignity and power which will be apparent to those with whom he comes in contact he will be able to look the world in the face without flinching and without fear for he will realize the nature and power of the i he will realize that he is a center of power of influence he will realize that nothing can harm the i and that no matter how the storms of life may dash upon the personality the real i the individuality is unharmed like a rock that stands steadfast throughout the storm so does the i stand through the tempests of the life of personality and he will know that as he grows in realization he will be able to control these storms and bid them be still in the words of one of the yogi masters the eye is eternal it passes unharmed through the fire the air the water sword and spear cannot kill or wound it it cannot die the trials of the physical life are but as dreams to it resting secure in the knowledge of the eye man may smile at the worst of the world has to offer and raising his hand he may bid them disappear into the mist from which they emerged blessed is he who can say understandingly i so dear candidate we leave you to master the first lesson be not discouraged if your progress be slow be not cast down if you slip back a step after having gained it you will gain too at the next step success and realization will be yours mastery is before you will attain you will accomplish peace be with you mantrams affirmations for the first lesson i am the center around me revolves my world i am the center of influence and power i am the center of thought and consciousness i am independent of the body i am immortal and cannot be destroyed i am invincible and cannot be injured end of the first lesson the i part 2 recording by uday sagar